Hi, I'm Imogen for Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with Gemma and Michael from Death Ship 666. Hi guys, how are you doing? Really good, um, fantastic, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah! Any you pick? Um, it, it's amazing, we're really happy to be here today. Thank yeah. you for seeing us. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. So tell me what your roles are in Death Ship 666 and what the show's about. Um, well, we both wrote and produced with my twin who isn't here because he's a scientist elsewhere. And uh, I directed and I'm also acting in it to save money coming to Edinburgh with it. So uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's great. It's, it's going really well. And Gemma? Yeah, I uh, co-wrote with Michael and produced the show. So how was that doing everything? Was it quite stressful or...? Yeah, extremely stressful. We were doing, we were like, we're like, we're doing about ten people's roles at the moment. <laughs> like, it's just, just going like, a bit like insane. Just like a swan on the water, like paddling under the, you know, everyone can't see how frantic you're being, but yeah. it's, it's all good. Yeah, it's actually. good, and it's been, it's really been worth it. Actually, seeing audience reactions and the kind of, uh, the way that it's been, the Edinburgh Festival has been going so far for us. So it's more than been worth it, and rewards are coming through. Emotional rewards. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about the show? It's a parody about ocean-based disaster movies. <laughs> Not just ocean-based. Not just oceans. Oh, disasters generally. Just, oh. So we've kind of taken the tearing inferno, Titanic, Poseidon adventure and um, collided it with the humour of Airplane and Naked Gun. So My it's absolute kind of favourite film. Yeah, so we've mixed all that together and yeah, it's just a really fun disaster parody play for all the family. Oh yeah, because you're on early on in the day, so are you hoping that family's going to come see this? They have yeah, been coming. I felt really bad. We had to. Um, we we've been selling out every single day, and yesterday I had to turn like away this family, and they had like like two eight year olds, and they're looking really sad. I was like, yeah. come in, but it, it is for all the family. Um, it kind of treads the line. So like families who are like a bit open and like, yeah, my kids can see what they want. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. And it's it's yeah, it's been really nice like looking out into the audience and seeing kids there responding to it as well. So we've got like adults as old as late 60s and kids as young as six enjoying this odd um this show but yeah our main demographic is like mid 20 year olds and stuff but it's really good yeah it's a really yeah. fun way to start a day it's on yeah. a um quarter to 11, 11 in the morning so originally we were like oh my god that's so early and stuff but like that it's yeah. been going in our favor like again we've only done four shows and we've been so selling out and turning people away so it's been going fantastic yeah. and it's just yeah all the all the hashtags on twitter have just been so amazing as well and yeah it's been really great so how many people are in the cast six and we play over 30 characters. Yeah, so, it's like wow. uh, 39 steps, kind of multi-running, really fast paced. They literally run off and they come back on like two seconds later. It's a completely different character. Yeah. One guy even like at one point, he's like one character and then he like turns around and he's wearing the other suit on the other side. So, so it's, like, he's, he's, yeah. yeah, so he's the ca captain of the ship, then suddenly he's the evil electrician and it's like complete yeah. differentiation and yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Fun. It sounds like a really fast paced show. How, how are you preparing for such an energetic show every single day? Prozac, no, no, <laughs> it's not Prozac. Just the cast have been really sensible. Everyone's just getting a lot of sleep making sure that they have enough and yeah they, it's just really nice the cast have just turned around going yeah we, we we actually care about this show so we're not like you know going out and uh going out and drinking loads and you know like they just really enjoy getting up and doing it and we do as well and it's just we're having a great time in edinburgh and the cast are just really into it and getting the best out of it that they can as well are you actually just hiding that you're a very strict director <laughs> no not a, not at all <laughs> but um no no it's um no. One of our actors is in like like four or five different shows. At Carrie the same Marks, time. she's um, the wife of Carrie Marks, who's this uh, re really famous stand-up comedian, and she's in four different shows. So she's just spreading herself thin over at Edinburgh, and uh, she she's oh she's always there before us though, no, drinking coffee crazy. like morning, darlings. It's marvelous, <laughs> like day and stuff. Carrie, have you slept? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, yeah. No, yeah, it's just yeah, it's really fun, and they're they're all loving it too. Cool. So, what do you love most about the Fringe? The energy and meeting new people. We went watching um, Snakes the Musical. It's, it's so, so good. good. Go, like, go watch it. Yeah, yeah really, really brilliant. Um, Snakes the Musical last night, and we had drinks with the creators and actors in that afterwards. And I think it's just, it's been so wonderful meeting uh, such new, different talent and new talent that we've not, we've never met before. And just that element of it for me. I don't, what about you? Well, we've been checking out all the stuff on the free fringe, like because it's like you can just go and you don't. I sometimes you don't even know what it's about, and it's just let's give it a go. And like been really pleasantly surprised by some stuff, and even like the stuff like we haven't enjoyed as much like we keep talking about yeah. it because it's just like it gets into your brain and like you know it's just like really like yeah injecting you with like enthusiasm it's amazing yeah. so yeah definitely check out the free fringe it's yeah. good yeah okay great well thank you so much for talking to me thank you Imogen <laughs> stop <laughs> um so we can catch your show at the laughing horse yeah. at quarter to 12 quarter to 11 quarter to 11 yeah. sorry sisters on Cowgate. However, if you do want to come, I would advise getting there around half ten or pre-booking on, online because we are turning people away. So Even though it's a free show, people don't know that you can pre-book. So, so yeah. yeah, either get your ticket, get on board and try not to drown. <laughs>
Ooh. Ooh, work on the tagline. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, I've been Imogen for Waffle TV.